Joining us to the 37 national games out here being held in Goa at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium. Today we've got the finals in the men's and women's team championships uh, taking place out here on center court. We've got the women uh, getting ready to battle it out. Purva Barbe from the Maharashtra women's team and Ashmita Chalia from the Assam women's team of course two top ranked players uh, of uh, India taking on each other of course Ashmita Chalia representing India at the recently concluded uh, Asian Games being held in uh, China of course she is the top ranked player out here on uh, court number one and of course on court number two we will be having the men's uh, team championship the teams of Karnataka and Maharashtra, Bhargaves from Karnataka taking on Harshil Dani from Maharashtra and of course uh, they're going to be battling it out on court number two and all the action is coming to you live from the Doodarshan network out here. A good afternoon to all of you and of course I'd like to welcome my co-presenter for today, uh, Neeraj, also joining me in the commentary box. Good noon, Elroy. Good noon to all our viewers, uh, wherever you are. We are set for a fascinating session of team championship in the badminton event at the 37th National Games Goa 2023. The stage is set for the fireworks. I must say this is the top, top matchup that is coming your way. World rank 49, Ashmita Chaliha, India's international badminton player who was also part of the team at the recently uh, concluded Asian Games in China will take on Purva Barve, also an international player looking to come up in her rankings, uh, improve her rankings this year and uh, Purva of Maharashtra is all set uh, in blue jersey. You can see her warming up and uh, really looking all set to begin the action. And on the other side of the net is uh, Ashmita Chalia of Assam, world rank 49. Purva Barve will serve love all. We're all set to go in the first game of uh, this day. Here we go, opening serve for the 37 national game finals out here in the team championship straight away on the attack Ashmita Chalia you can see she's so focused Purva adjusting to her position the drift of the stadium and then she'll get going you can see right away the movement of Ashmita she is very agile and fluid in her movement so far Purva hasn't yet got going for sure. And of course, uh, with that, we have scores level. This is going to be a very tight contest. But of course, in terms of rankings, Ashmita uh, far ahead of uh, her opponent today. So Purva, clearly the underdog in uh, this match, looking to cause an upset and start off early with a victory for Maharashtra. But the score right now leads Ashmita 3. Purva 
excellent uh, excellent play out here from both players it's an opening contest which sees both of them neck and neck but Hashmita leading by just one point but it is Purva to serve the score reads three to four and at the net that was a little unfortunate for the Maharashtra players and uh, Chaliha fortunate enough to win that point at the net. 5-3 she leads and it's her serve. This matchup is also very interesting because Ashmita Chaliha is a left-handed shuttler while uh, Purva Barve of Maharashtra is a righty. And to see this combat between lefty and righty will be interesting. So far, uh, it's very clear Ashmita is really driving on the front foot here, and Purva is slowly but steadily getting stronger. 6 4, Ashmita to serve. was not where she intended for that to go and uh, Purva Barve trying to keep up with her highly ranked opponent from Assam uh, this game is going to be a tight one Neeraj I don't think either of the players are ready to let go of uh, the points This time uh, Purva had a lot of space out in the backcourt but her placement uh, wasn't exactly uh, where she would like the shuttle to uh, drop and that's how the error Ashmita profits 7-5. to the men's or uh, rather women's badminton event here at the 37 national games had in all six teams and both Assam and uh, Maharashtra topped the respective groups and made it to the finals and here we are in the first match in the women's finals. Of course, so we have uh, seen this game seven all even Stevens as they say Purva and Ashmita fighting it out each point very valuable for both sets of players they're not giving up an inch Neeraj this is going to be a very exciting game excellent Nicely done by Purva. She is the underdog in this game. Ranked almost 450 in the world. She's taking on a world number 49, Ashmita Chaliya, in this game. And she is giving just as good as it gets. She leads 8 7 and is a serving as well. See the uh, skill there from Ashmita. It's not just about trying to drive and play forceful shots, but some deft placement skills as well, which are very, very important in badminton. You have to deceive your opponent most of the times, and this time Ashmita was right on the money and gets a point. It's eight all in the first game. Wow, what a smash, Ashmita! Clearly trying to dominate the court. She leads a 9 8, and of course, on court number two, we've got Bhargav S taking on uh, Harshil Dani, and it's a one sided affair so far as Bhargav is leading by eight points to one. That is the game happening on court two. Okay. 
Ura is up for the fight for sure. She is not getting overawed by her higher ranked opponent. And you can see the personality coming through. It's 9 all. Uh, her down the line winner was really good that time. Excellent game by Purva out here. Giving as good as she's get, getting back from a, a higher ranked opponent. And she now is in the lead. As I said, Neeraj, this game is going to go down to the wire. I think it's going to be very, very competitive. Absolutely. Uh, yesterday, after uh, Maharashtra defeated Goa and after Purva won her particular match against Goa, she was in uh, conversation with uh, Doordarshan and she told that she was really finding her feet here and moving impressively. And that's what matters. The players... Uh, confidence matters and she feels she is right up there with her movement, her court coverage and that gave her maximum satisfaction. Still early days here, uh, the team championship is on and later on there will be individual competition as well. So the players are all pumped up and getting stronger and stronger as the badminton event uh, progresses here at the Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium. That's right. Uh, and as you can see, Ashmita is uh, getting a little bit of medical attention uh, as uh, she tried to go for that drop shot from Purva. Uh, don't, as you can see, she uh, tripped and fell, so she's getting a little bit of medical attention. And uh, speaking of Purva, she went on to beat her opponent yesterday, Kurbelgi Sakshi from uh, Goa. She won the game 21-14, uh, 21-11 in straight sets, uh, completely dominating her opponent. And uh, today is also all psyched up and ready for the game. 10-9 uh, is the score right now in favor of Purva as she's going to be serving as soon as uh, the player from Assam is able to rejoin us on court. She looks like she is in a considerable amount of pain as our physio team uh, is uh, checking her out and making sure that she's able to play. On court number two, we've got action uh, happening between S. Bhargav and Dani Harshil and Ms. Bhargav started off well, took a commanding lead of 8-1, but Harshil has fought his way back into the game and the scores are now tied on 8-all on court number 2. It's a very exciting game out here as well on court number 2. We can see the action happening, of course, uh, but our focus on the Doodarshan uh, network out here is on uh, centre court, court number 1, where we have uh, the top-seeded uh, Ashmita Chaliya, taking on uh, Purva Barve from Maharashtra. This is for the women's team championship games between Maharashtra and Assam. This is, of course, the finals happening out here on day three at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium. Quite a lengthy medical timeout, probably. This is uh, Ashmita Chelya must be in some pain with her with her wrist or her fingers yes it's the wrist and the physio is working on her injury we hope that she is back as soon as possible and playing at her best because we were set for a fascinating duel in this first match of the finals team championship final between Assam and Maharashtra Let's hope that Shmita's quality is not hindered in any way due to her on-court injury. So here we are all set to resume the action after a slight injury stoppage. The score is 10-9 in favor of Maharashtra's uh, Purva Barve. So, the story so far in the team championship badminton has been in the group A. Assam went on to top the championship having played two matches and got four points. And here are Assam, similarly Maharashtra as well, topped the group B by winning both their matches. Purva to serve 10-9. And with that, uh, there's a bit of a breather. Ashmita, even though she picked up a bit of a knock, uh, has won the last two points. 
Purva had the lead before the injury break, but uh, I think this break caused a little bit of disturbance in her focus and concentration as she lost two back-to-back -back points. And of course, now the score is Ashmita leading by a solitary point. And of course, uh, this is the championship finals. Five games on court number one and five games on court number two. Both sets of uh, team players vying for the gold and silver medals, of course. And uh, there is going to be stiff competition for the gold medal as Maharashtra last year finished as bronze medal uh, winners in the national games, the 36. So this time they're looking to go one better and win uh, the gold. And uh, we are going to resume action with Ashmita ready to serve. Eleven all. Uh, this game is going to go right down to the wire. Neeraj, I think this is going to be very, very interesting because both players are not giving up any, any easy points. 12-11, Ashmita leads and it is her serve as well. If you look at Ashmita's record here, Ashmita has gone on to win in both her earlier singles matches in a three-game affair. So she probably takes some time to set to get set to her maximum abilities and probably comes uh, in full swing or full cry in the third game. So you never know because now it's 13 12. So a little er error prone in this first game is Ashmita Chalia, though her ranking is far more superior to Purva. And we have the game here on an even keel. It's 13 all in the first game. That is one glaring error for an India international to make. You have the entire forecourt to your disposal and then you go on to hit the net. So that will be really a uh, mistake that will be rankling in her mind. But she has to, she has to look beyond that and it's 14-13. Purva to score. Uh, there was a wry smile on uh, Ashmita's face after she missed that smash and she made up for it with literally the next hit of the game. And here she is to serve at 14 all. Beautiful. That's what you want to see from an India player. That four cross court smash was just brilliant. High quality stuff here. But so far, she's been inconsistent and hopefully as the match progresses, she'll be full of quality. Lovely, lovely gameplay there from Ashmita. Now taking a two-point lead in uh, this game. And as, as Neeraj had said, she starts off a little slow, but then builds momentum in her game. And that is what is happening. 16-14 with Ashmita to serve. And uh, now the unforced errors from Purva mounting up. She's lost the last three points in a row. She will be looking to close that gap on her opponent because Asmita will be looking to try and close this game out as quickly as possible. But an unforced error there. Accuracy slightly wavered. She's trying to smash her way into victory for this set. 15-17 with uh, Purva to serve. Purva under pressure for sure now having lost the last three consecutive points. We'll have to dig deep here. It's 18-15. Good lead there building for Ashmita Chalia and Assam in this first game now. Yeah. 
Very, very good point for Purva here. This will give her a lot of confidence because her retrieving was perfect on one of the smashes and she was in control of the point. Although Ashmita Chalia made a simple unforced error as well. But then every point will matter here. Doesn't matter how they come from Maharashtra who are trailing by two points. Purva has uh, been undefeated so far in this competition in the league stage. She won her both matches without dropping a game. So she would be really drawing confidence from uh, this statistic as well. Ashmita Chalia is now on a game point, a four point uh, lead for. Ashmita and Assam, it's 2016 in this first game of the Women's Team Championship Final. And there you go, as expected, Ashmita Chalia capitalizes on her lead and gains the game point, wins the game for Assam. 21-16. The first game done and dusted. Ashmita Chaliha of Assam is looking good, finishes strongly, although she has made several errors in the game. But in the end, it, the result matters as the game has been pocketed. As for Purva Barve of Maharashtra, she has tried her best, played some quality, winning, winning shot, the winners but she would like to improve on her performance as well in this crucial second game which will be coming up in a minute and to take you across uh, on court number two we've got the action happening between uh, bargav and harshil harshil and uh, bargav it is a very very close game between both of them Hashil is now leading, of course, as I had mentioned earlier, he was trailing by eight points to one, but he's fought back and uh, it has been a remarkable comeback by Hashil and that game is still on. There is a fierce competition between both players. It's a two point lead now for Dani Hashil uh, competing against uh, Karnataka's Bhargav S. And of course, that is the game between Maharashtra and Karnataka. On uh, court number one, we've got the action between Maharashtra and uh, Assam, the women's uh, championship. This is, of course, the finals, both teams competing for the gold. And, of course, the loser will have to settle for silver. It is time for Shmita to serve for the second set. Purva beginning the second set with uh, an opening uh, easy point and she now leads by a single solitary point. 1-0. Purva pumping her fist, knowing that every point very, very vital in this game. She would need to build a sizable lead to stay ahead of her opponent. Purva to serve at 2-0. To all. Second game, Ashmita Chalia to serve. Having back the first game, Assam in the ascendancy here against Maharashtra in the team championship final. Great smash, absolutely no answer there from Purva. Ashmita smashing that right to the corner, and Purva had uh, literally no chance to get to that. And in the other game, it is 18 all between Harshil and Bhargav. Very closely fought game on court number two. It's three all. Both players here taking their own time to get settled in the second game. Do drop shot. Done come off for Purva Barve there. The idea was right, but the execution wasn't.
Well, well, what a wonderful rally that was. Uh, Ashmita Chalya returning the smashes incredibly well and uh, in her final return, the, the height of the shot was probably what left Purva Barve in two minds, whether to go for a smash or whether to go for a underarm drive or something. So that was a good point. And that is why uh, Ashmita building up an uh, early lead in uh, this second set, 6-4. She leads with the service as well. And uh, Purva will be looking to uh, fight it back and, of course, try and make a comeback in this game. Another unforced error there from uh, Purva, which sees her trail now by three points. Ashmita... Very cool and composed and then that is what you expect from your highly ranked player out here. She's represented India at the uh, Asian Games just concluded uh, last few days and of course four point lead now for Ashmita as she serves once more. The quality of play of Ashmita Chalya is standing out here as Purva makes a lot of errors as well. 9-4 is the score in the second game. A five-point lead for Assam's Ashmita. Ten four, Ashmita Chalya is now in supreme control of this game and the match as well. This time though, Ashmita's placement uh, was wild and that allows Purva Barve to get 1.510 she has to get some points consecutively here but then that's a glaring error on the serve for, by Purva Barve and that allows Assam a six points lead and a well earned uh, mid game break as well yes in this game Ashmita uh, clearly clearly displaying her superiority 11-5 she leads. Uh, Purva gave her a good fight in the first set. It was neck and neck for a while. And uh, Ashmita ensured that she kept her focus and went on to win. And of course, in the men's game that's happening on court number two, uh, Harshil Dani, who was trailing 8-1 in the first set, has come back to win the first set. 21-18 against Asbargov from Karnataka. And uh, the team from Maharashtra winning the first set and is Harshil is now leading in the second set 11-5 can Purva Barves and Maharashtra do something to stop the charge of Assam or Ashmita Chalya oh, Ashmita Chalya will drive on and march on towards a well well deserving victory in the first match here of the finals 12-5 uh, advantage for Assam's Ashmita that's wide a uh, wry smile on uh, Purva's face just a few inches away from uh, landing inside court but this is the difference out here just a few inches and millimeters between victory and a defeat Ashmita now completely dominant on uh, court number one, maneuvering her opponent to all parts of the court before finally smashing it, giving no chance to her opponent Purva. 
is looking a little helpless in this game. 14 of 5. Uh, Ashmita leads and is going to serve. She's looking to wrap this up quickly. Fourteen six Purva to serve six fourteen rather Purva of Maharashtra to serve. She's totally rattled, I can say, making mistakes on her service very regularly now. So that gives you an insight into her mindset right now. This time a mistake by uh, Ashmita Chalia. Purva gets a point. Maharashtra are trailing by eight points in this final. Good smash there by Purva Barve. And Ashmita was found wanting. 8.15 2 points on the trot for Purva and Maharashtra that will give her some much needed confidence in this first match against uh, Assam's Ashmita Chalya That's a little too wide from Purva. I think she is uh, talking to her coach about the drift that is present right now. She thought that would land uh, within the court, within bounds of the court. But unfortunately, she's just given away another point to her opponent. Ashmita now leads 16-9 and is serving as well. Wow, that was a well-fought rally and uh, you can see Ashmita just in two minds whether she should die for that considering that she did injure her wrist in the first set so she was a little more cautious about it and I think that might be something that Purva might try to exploit. She has to work her way back into this game. 10-16 with Purva to serve right now. And of course, with that, we have uh, Ashmita with another point, successfully winning another point out here. 17-10 is what the score reads with Ashmita serving. And it looks like Purva is completely rattled in this game. That was a very, very wayward shot, unlike her, unlike her how she's been in this game with Ashmita serving 18-10. Unfortunate, unfortunate 18 10, just a couple of points away from victory, and uh, making sure Ashmita is making sure that the Assam women's team is one step closer to winning gold out here at the 37th National Games. That is a wide, according to the on code officials. 2010, she's one point away from a victory. Ashmita on match point. 
And Purva has managed to save one match point, but she still has a lot of work to do. As Ashmita is a single point away from winning the opening games out here at the finals. And with that unforced error, very unlike Purva, Ashmita Chalia from Assam winning the first game. And of course, her opponent Purva Barve surrendering that point towards the end winning Ashmita winning 21-11 in this uh, second set and uh, Purva having to settle for second place out here we've still got a couple more games which will be happening on center court we've got Alisha Naik from Maharashtra uh, will be taking on Ishrani Barua from Assam in uh, the second game a well-played game between both our opponents and of course we will be having a Neeraj in conversation with the winner uh, of this game Ashmita we're going to be talking to the winners and Neeraj will be in conversation with the top ranked player out here representing India as well Ashmita Chalia winning the game and over to you Neeraj whenever you're ready me Ashmita Chalia of Assam she has given a straight a fantastic start in the finals here in the team championship winning 21-16 21-11 against Purva Barve of Maharashtra well played Ashmita uh, a smooth sailing for you in the first match yeah uh, first match it was a bit uh, tough because uh, the court conditions were different and every day the AC is different so there is like drifts from both the sides so like we have to plan and manage and then we have to like execute our uh, play. So first set it was a bit like till 5-6 points it was difficult but then uh, I managed to pull out. Uh, you had a bit of an injury to your hand early on as well. How is your hand now? Uh, the, blood, blood, the blood wasn't stopping but they put some spray so now it was it's like a bit fine. Uh, Ashmita, tell us about the mindset that your player, like you, you are also part of the Indian team at the Asian Games. Now you are in here for the national games representing your state. Uh, what is the thought process like? Uh, like uh, compared to international and like all India tournaments, uh, there is a bit of difference. But uh, here when I, when I am playing national games, so the organizing committee, everything is like just good. So like in terms of Asian games and national games, uh, I'm like liking this too. How do you find the facilities here at the 37th National Games in Goa? Uh, it's 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 pretty good. The food and like AC everywhere. <laughs> so I'm liking it. It's good. All the best to you, Ashmita, and your team as well. We'll see you back in action in doubles. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. So that's Ashmita Chalia, fantastic player. We have seen all her games so far, and she has been good in the tournament as well. Back to Elroy Fernandez in the commentators box. Uh, Neeraj uh, for that uh, wonderful uh, common, uh, conversation uh, with the winner Ashmita so humble in uh, victory uh, also talking to us about her injury and how she managed to play through that well fought and a well deserved victory to Ashmita Chalia winning the first set and of course uh, the second one quite comfortably the first set was a little tight she won it 21-16 but then was comprehensive uh, winner in the second winning 21-11 and on uh, centre court, we have our next set of uh, matches uh, taking place between the Maharashtra women's team and the Assam uh, women's team. Ishrani Barua from the Assam team taking on Alisha Naik from uh, Maharashtra. Both sets of players on court are warming up and all the action coming to you live, of course, from the Doodarshan uh, network. We are coming to you live uh, from the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium out here in Goa. It is a warm day and as you said, 
the players have to get accustomed to the drift which is uh, present out here. The air conditioning it changes a little bit uh, on each day as you just heard Ashmita talking to Neeraj as well. So players have to learn to compensate for it when they playing on court. Of course, when they change sides as well. And speaking about games on court, on court number two, we have uh, Bhargav and Harshil. That is a very closely fought game. The second set is on and uh, the, the game is actually very close to call. Bhargav from uh, Karnataka taking a slender lead of two points against Dani Harshil from Maharashtra who won the first set 21-18. We see Alisha Naik here in the Maharashtra colors. We didn't see her in the match against Goa, but she had played in the opener against Punjab, wherein she got the better of Radhika Sharma in a grueling three-setter. So we see Alisha only for the second time in this uh, women's team championship event, and this time it's in the final. She will be facing Assam's. Isharani Barua, who is also a doubles player and will be back in action again. Partnering Ashmita Chalia in the doubles match, but now her focus will be on the single style and leveling up the five uh, match rubber because uh, her compatriot, her teammate, Ashmita Chalia scored a fabulous victory over uh, Purva Barve in the first game, in the first match rather, 21-16, 21-11, a comfortable out outing for uh, Chalia and Assam. But now, Maharashtra's Alisha Naik will be having a challenge on her hand to level up the uh, proceedings here. Otherwise, Assam will take a very, very handsome Tuni lead in this uh, best of five uh, team championship final. And that is a wide according to the court empire, Alicia and uh, Ish Ishara, Isharan uh, out here, Isharani from uh, Assam versus Alicia. And uh, Alicia now taking a lead of uh, two points in the first set against uh, Isharani Barua from Assam. Another point for uh, Ishrani out here and the scores are level and as, as Neeraj said uh, the Maharashtra will be having a little bit of uh, pressure uh, especially on Alisha to uh, level the scores especially after they lost their first game against uh, Team Assam. So uh, Team Assam now leads uh, by one point on the board so Alisha will be looking to get Maharashtra back into the action with another point. Alisha Naik from uh, Maharashtra ranked around 367th in the world taking on Ishrani Barua from Assam. Ishrani of course the higher ranked player out here trailing 3-4 but it is her serve against Alisha Naik from Maharashtra. And it looks good for Maharashtra in the early stages of the game with Alisha taking a lead of two points. 
early on in this set. You can catch all the live action from uh, the Doodarshan network, of course, uh, to all the people watching in the games. You can uh, join us for the live action, to, especially to all the locals out here. Feel free to join us at uh, the stadiums to make sure that all the players have a lot of support. We've got a few locals in attendance today for this game as well as Alicia leads by 6-4 to four with Ishara to Sir. Ishara. A lot of crowd coming in and creating a great atmosphere here. Good smash by uh, Alisha Naik here of Maharashtra. She has uh, now taken up a four-point lead over Isharani Barua of Assam. Alisha Naik uh, taller than Isharani Barua and looking to use her height advantage as well, which helps in really good maneuvering around on the court and using the long reach. This time, Assam's Isharani was very quick in her overhead forehand return, getting a point. It's 5 9. Brilliant deception there and Alisha Naik uh, with her late movement of the wrist placing the half smash into the deep into the backcourt of Sharani. 11-5 the mid game break uh, is now sweeter for Maharashtra because uh, they are leading by six points and it's a very important uh, matchup as well for Maharashtra. Having lost the first match in this five match rubber, they have to strike level and as such uh, be on even keel as the gold medal is at stake today in the badminton team championship at the 37th National Games Goa 2023 here at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium at Taligao Plateau near Panji, Goa. Alicia making full use of her height against her opponent as she's built up a sizable lead and is now serving at 11-5. And uh, again, completely outfoxing her opponent there, sending her one way and uh, Alicia sending the shuttlecock the other way. Ishrani Barua of Assam needs to find answers to tackle her opponent and oh, that is one point which she's fought back but it is still a six point lead with Ishrani to serve. Once again, Isharani is very, very quick there to send a forcing forehand shot down the line and catches uh, Alisha Naik on the wrong foot. Thirteen seven, the six point lead for Alisha Naik and Maharashtra over Isharani of Assam. It's good to have the spectators uh, turning out today at the final stay here. SPM Stadium looks fantastic here. Decked up for the thirty seven national games, and uh, we see. The action equally exciting. Isharani Baru a little upset about that error. Her dribbling skills not yet uh, being
Uh, well, well, brilliant half smash there this time. A cross court winner in the forecourt of Alicia Nike. As I said, her dribbling skills are not yet uh, polished as such in this first game, and she wasn't happy with that error. But never mind, she wins the po next point. It's 8 14. The depth placements and in general the dribbling skills hold a huge importance uh, for players. The net play, some players are so thorough in net play. This time once again at the net uh, Isharani Barua falters and Alisha Naik takes the lead uh, to a commanding 8 point uh, magnitude and uh, Maharashtra will be happy with how the things are uh, shaping up here in the second match and that is out of bounds is what the officials say which means that Alicia has taken a nine point lead in this game it is looking definitely looking good for Maharashtra who are trailing in uh, this uh, championship uh, five rubber tournament they need to win this game to release some of the pressure that has been built up by Team Assam in after the first match. Barua struggling against her opponent. Alicia looking to close out the set in a quick time. And once again with a fantastic smash across the court leaving Barua, absolutely no chance there to win at any point. Alicia has become, uh, has been so commanding in this first game and there's no doubt uh, that uh, she has been very, very focused and very determined as well. You see once again uh, Shmita has found, uh, rather uh, Isharani has found uh, it going very difficult at the net and that means Nike uh, Alicia has uh, bagged the first game here very very comfortably. 21-9 for Maharashtra. Half the job done here and uh, the Maharashtra camp will be having a little bit of comfort in their uh, in their contingent right now as this is a high stake match the gold medal in the team championship is up for grabs for the winner of the best of five uh, format here so you also see the teammate Purva Barve is here by the court and uh, advising uh, Alisha Naik as to how she will make the best uh, positioning or the best use of the uh, situation or the ambience here at the court, what the drift is and what will be the best way to move forward. Purva played the first singles and went down to Ashmita Chalia of Assam and she is here besides the coach to help her uh, teammate and you can see in the stands there Maharashtra team uh, looking on and egging their teammate on the court. You'll, you'll see them in action uh, later on. Uh, uh, Simran Sangi and Ritika Tucker there, the double sparing. And uh, as well as uh, Akshaya Warang, who was in action yesterday against Goa, she's also seated there in the stands. Now the focus is back on the court as the second game begins. Alicia starting off the second set with a point. Looks in complete control of her game out here today. One all in the second set of the first game.
And of course, uh, Ishrani now taking a slender lead of... Uh, in this game, she's going to be looking to fight back to try and uh, level the scores and take this game into a third set, a tiebreaker. And that is uh, a tiebreaker is happening on court number two between Harshil Dani and Bargaves from Maharashtra and Karnataka. Excellent, excellent. Making full use of her reach out there, Alicia, using her height to her advantage, pushing. Uh, Barua to the back of the court and then slamming it into the front of the court on her return. Excellent play. Isharani Barua trying to initiate a fight back here leads by two points 4-2 to Isharani three four Alicia Naik to serve Well left there by Alicia Naik. She was uh, keeping a close eye on the path of the shuttle and her judgment proved right this time. It's for all now. Well, what a beautifully decepted, uh, deceptive drop shot executed by Assam's uh, Isharani Barua this time and it gives them a points lead and will do her confidence a world of good. Alisha Naik uh, has confidence in her uh, forehand uh, smashes and that's how you see her with a clenched fist and you know that she is getting that getting into the groove in the second game now that was a proper fight back from Assam there Barua making sure that she takes a lead in this game she's going to try to win a, a couple more points her confidence seems a little down but with that point of course pumping her fists into the air Shot of excitement as well. And just like that, it needs just a few points to get momentum rolling your way. And that is exactly what uh, Ishrani Barua is uh, doing right now. Winning a couple of points, getting a little bit of encouragement from her coach as well. Talking to her, telling her she just needs to keep doing more of what she is doing right now. You can see a uh, quick trading of drives between both the players at the net and that's how uh, the control comes in play. If you're trading the drives and you're not able to maneuver your wrist in a, in a very deceptive fashion, uh, most of the time uh, the players trying to play off down the line will make an error. No chance, absolutely no chance there. Alicia making sure her opponent was completely out of that game with a drop shot which sent her to the far reaches of the court and then ensured that she was in no position to make it back for the return. And now the score reads uh, Alicia 7, Ish Asharani 8. Well, well, in two minds, Alicia. You've seen her do that earlier as well, but uh, that time it had come off. But this time, the point goes Assam's survey 9-7, Isharani to serve. A 
wow, that was another crucial point for Barua there as the players take a small break at the mid-break where the players will get a few instructions from their coaches. This is a crucial uh, point in the match, especially for Maharashtra. If they can win this game, they will uh, draw level on the overall points. But if they lose this uh, set, then of course, Assam will be having all the confidence going into the tiebreaker. And it's going to take a lot for Alicia to win. So she needs to use her advantage, which she clearly had in the first set. She needs to utilize her height and her reach and push her opponent hard as right now there are a lot of unforced errors from Alicia which have caused her to trail 7-11 to the girl from Assam, Ishrani Barua as we are all set on center court one to kick off action again. Isharani Barua fighting back here for Assam and in the second game, uh, having lost the first game to Maharashtra's uh, Alisha Naik. You can also see Ashmita Chalia by the court side, Assam, uh, Assam's. Uh, India International Shirtless, she's also there egging on Isharani Barua. Oh. Finally, Isharani Barua gets one uh, over the net in her dribbling uh, skills arsenal. It's, it's now working. The match is uh, getting a very intense now and the players are trading points here. Beautifully done by Alicia. She is now in hot pursuit of reducing this commanding lead that Assam have three consecutive points for Alicia Fifteen ten, Sharani Barua back on serve. Assam with a five-point lead over Maharashtra now. Good deft placement, good delicate hands by Alisha Naik. That was a body slam. <laughs> no chance there from uh, Maharashtra to return that. Aisha Rani with a crucial, crucial smash. She leads 16-11 in the second set. Well played to both players. Giving it their all, I would say. Assam losing the first set, but coming back hard in the second Maharashtra will be looking to close the gap it is a five point lead right now for Assam as they serve Isharani trying to change the area of play from uh, right side to the left and uh, doesn't manage to get the Cross court placement right, and Isharani Barua gets a point. She still is uh, trails by six points. Assam and Maharashtra really.
doing very well in this match uh, but uh, in fact it's Alisha Naik who's of Maharashtra is trailing by five points in this game but she has already won the first game comprehensively this is the phase where a player with high with a commanding lead in the second game is normally driving on and the, the player trailing kind of focuses tries to focus on the third and final game but you'll see this pattern here or Alisha Naik will rally up we will have to wait and watch That is wide and she moves, uh, Isharani moves uh, one step closer to a victory in the second set and of course uh, she now serves. And uh, that was a brilliant rally of points out here between both players which she sees Isha Rani almost to the finish line in uh, the second set and that is wide which means we are all level out here in the second match being played of course the first game in the men's uh, category or the men's team championship has concluded between Harshil Dani and uh, Bargaves with uh, S. Bargav winning that game uh, after losing the first set 18-21 coming back to win the second one 21-19 and then clinching it in the third tiebreaker set 21-15 crucial uh, victory there for Karnataka as they lead Maharashtra by one point now. So uh, in a fascinating coincidence uh, both the teams of Maharashtra the men's and women's team the both the first uh, singles uh, players have lost uh, uh, ties and uh, we see the second match in the uh, women's team championship uh, going on and Maharashtra have the task of striking level so even the men's uh, second singles players will have the, the similar challenge on his hand as well so far in the women's uh, second match uh, Alisha Naik had won the first game 21-9 but uh, Assam's Isharani Barua has leveled up the match by winning the second game 21-13 and it will be everything to play for in this third and final game now between Alisha Naik of Maharashtra and Barua Isharani of Assam. We're all set to begin with the third set in this game to decide the winner between Maharashtra and Assam. And of course, Alisha unable to use her height advantage. Isha Rani Barua for Assam figured out her gameplay after losing the first set and expertly went on to win the second set. And we are now in the third game of uh, this match Isha Rani has uh, started strong winning the first two points of the ma of the match a hat-trick of points to start things off for Sam and this is looking like It's a long task. It's going to be a long task for Maharashtra. They need to gather their team, need to get their attention going and fight back. But it doesn't seem to be happening as Isha Rani wins another point, taking a 4-0 lead in the third tiebreaker set out here.
and it seems to be falling away for Maharashtra. It's very surprising as Alicia has uh, lost five points on the trot. She started off this game so well, so much of confidence in her gameplay, but Isha Rani pulling things back and wow, she now has a six point lead in this game. Team Assam looking to win their second point of this tournament as they lead Maharashtra by one point because of the previous game where Ashmita Chalia was victorious against Purva Barve. And with that, Alicia registers her first point in this tiebreaker set. It's been uncanny from her, the player from Maharashtra, losing six points at the start of this game. Let's see if she can pull it back. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant here, Isharani Barua. The way she played that shot, exceptional technical ability on display here from Isharani. No answer to the attack uh, by, from Alisha Naik here. Isharani Baru of Assam is completely stamping her authority in this third and final game of this match. Alisha is now making uh, glaring errors. Uh, she seems to have lost a bit of focus as well and uh, has been shocked by Arbarua's attack and accuracy too. This match, this game in fact will be over in a jiffy if Alisha Naik doesn't gather her act this is simply incredible the way she had won the first game alisha had shown she has the she has the capability but then isha rani has simply come so good from the second game onwards and she is now leading 10-2 alisha naik on serve now has a task on hand Eleven two in this third game in favor of Assam and the camp is happy. You could see the coach with a big smile on his face as he goes uh, for the mid inning break and what advice he can give Isharani Barua now. Probably the best would be that don't do anything silly. She has <laughs> been doing everything right, uh, which means that eleven two is such an incredible commanding lead for Assam. Absolutely right, Neeraj. I don't seem to understand what has uh, happened to Alicia Naik's game in this uh, tiebreaker set. Completely blown away by her opponent, uh, Isharani Barua from Assam. Uh, their coaches will definitely be having a word with their players. Maybe a little bit of fatigue setting in as well for Alicia, but Isharani completely in control of this game. 11 2, she has a commanding lead, and uh, it's going to take a lot for Alicia to to even draw level in this game but well we are hoping to see the best of the best in action out here at the 37th national games being held at the dr shama prasad mukherjee stadium in goa as we get ready for the game to resume with isha rani to serve well, isha naik has to calm herself down you can see her having a dialogue with their own self two consecutive points now for Alicia Naik it's 4-11 but her service is lacking in direction and control and hands a point to Isharani Barua no, that wouldn't do it for Maharashtra. Alisha Naik not being in the right position to play that shot. And it's an easy point for uh, Aisha Rani in 13 4 for Assam. That is uh, wide off the court. 
5-13, it is a very one-sided tiebreaker set. Neeraj, I think this is going to be wrapped up soon, unless Alicia can mount a fight back. And this is exactly what she should be doing, using her height advantage to maneuver her opponent to different parts of the, of the court and strike it down. Good rally here this time and uh, Alicia was uh, looking good. 7.13 in favor. Of course, Maharashtra is trailing but uh, the serve is at uh, Alicia's end and she would be hoping she knocks in some consecutive points to reduce the deficit here. Though the drop shot hasn't come off uh, quite consistently well for Alicia Naik and here once again you see this, this uh, weakness in her game. Multiple unforced errors there by Aisha Rani Barua, by Alicia Naik and it just lets Aisha Rani take a sizable lead of eight points in this game. Dominant once again completely smashing that in with complete accuracy was Isharani Barua from Assam. 16-7 is uh, what she leads now. You see this and then you know the story. You don't even have to see the scores. The body language of Alicia Naik is uh, telling a story. Sharani Barua is running away with the match here. Trying an ambitious uh, placement around the face of the net here and gets it wide. Isharani on 17, Alisha on 9. That's beautiful. Her placement was perfect as she wrong-footed uh, Alicia Naik uh, thinking into that the shot is going to be in the other half of the court. That's how the cross-court forehand is played and this time even Alicia Naik gets one into the area of Isharani Barua to win a point. It's 10-18 now. Correct serve, 11-18, Alisha gets two consecutive points. Twelve eighteen, three points. Is Alisha going to do an incredible fight back here? That's it, Barua Isharani stamps the rot and gets a point two more points and she'll win this match for Assam Thirteen, nineteen. Alisha Naik has to come up with a substantial run of points here otherwise it's curtains Slowly but steadily, Alisha Naik is also making gains on the f points front and uh, Maharashtra will hope that she can do this more frequently. Well, 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 see a little bit of let up in intensity from Isharani Barua too. Her mistakes are piling on and she is uh, losing the lead by the minute. Brilliant forehand smash in the backcourt here and 
that brings a match point to, for Assam now. Barua Isharani leads 2015 in this third and final game. A little bit of inconsistency has crept into Isharani's play in the last 10 minutes or so. And Alisha has been able to cut the deficit. Very, very good rally here. The spectators giving a huge round of applause. That's all what you want to see. Exciting stuff. Isharani Barua diving to her left and uh, returning the shuttle to which Alisha Naik uh, places it later on into the deep half of Isharani's area. Incredible rally. And in the end, uh, Alisha Naik is still surviving and fighting the battle in this third and final game. Uh, she is still trailing by three match points, uh, Alisha Naik, and serving now 17 20. Eighteen twenty. Oh my God! Uh, do we have a twist in the tail now? The lead, which was uh, at seven point uh, margin, has been reduced to two. But now it's a wire on her serve. Serve goes too deep and misses the playing area, and that hands the match point to Assam and Isharani Barua clinches the tie to make it two nil to Assam in this five match. Team Championship Final against Maharashtra. Uh, good performance overall uh, by Isharani Barua. Uh, having lost the first game 9-21, she makes a good comeback, winning the next two games 13-21, 18-21. But uh, Alisha Naik, she kept on fighting in the third and final game and saw to it that the margin of defeat was uh, cut to just three points. Well done, Assam, and uh, commiserations to Maharashtra players. But uh, you know, they are going to fight it till the end. It's 2-0 to Assam in this team championship final. And the third match coming up in some time will be absolutely crucial to see that uh, Maharashtra uh, keeps the tie alive, otherwise Assam will gain an unassailable 3-0 advantage. We'll have uh, Isharani Barua come up to chat in the mixed zone in a few moments. Elroy Fernandez is all set to have a word with Isharani. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the 37th National Games being held out here in Goa. We've just witnessed a very, very exciting match being played between Team Maharashtra and Team Assam in the women's category, of course. This is a very crucial game which was played and I have with me the winner of the match, Isharani uh, Barua from Assam, who was victorious. She lost the first set but had an incredible uh, fight back and went on to win the second and of course the tiebreaker set can you walk us through the game and how you were feeling while playing the match like at first in the first set i lost as everybody saw and in the second match it was i had a pressure that i have to win the second set then i'll go to the third set like it was really tough like first set i was not able to control my shuttles it was going uh, like the drift for so much that uh, when I was lifting, it was going out. And in the second set, uh, I tried to control. My coaches uh, told me to co uh, keep the shuttle down. Uh, and that's it. I, it was like the second and third set was quite comfortable for me. Yes, it was quite comfortable. And there was a lot of drift uh, which was uh, playing a part. How did you uh, manage to tackle it in the second and third set? Like I tried to keep the shuttle in the middle so that it don't go like the. I, I, I did not 
plate to the side line so that it, it won't go out. So I try to keep the shuttle in the middle. It has been a very tough competition. There's lots of uh, top players competing out here. Even in the final set, when you took a comfortable lead at the start, your opponent did fight back. Uh, tell us, what is the mindset going, what, is, go, what are the thoughts going through your head when you have to win that crucial point, but it sometimes doesn't necessarily go your way? So at the third set, like, I was quite a bit lead, but she was covering well. Like, it went, I think, 18. And it was the pressure was coming, right? But my coaches tell uh, be focused and be calm, and that's it. Well, congratulations on winning and giving Assam a two-nil lead. We wish you all the very best for winning gold. One more point, and then you guys will win the gold. Yeah, like I, we just need like one point, and I think I have to play the doubles. Yeah. All right, congratulations and all the best for your next match. Yes, and uh, with that, we have Aisha Rani there, the winner of this game. We now go back to the commentary team with Neeraj. Fantastic performance by Aisha Rani Barua. And you see, uh, she had some difficulty adjusting to the court ambience, uh, the drift in the first uh, game, but uh, she did exceedingly well in the games thereafter to make it 2 nil for Assam. Well played, Isharani. And now we shift our attention to the men's team championship match coming between uh, As uh, Karnataka's Prithvi Roy K and uh, Maharashtra's Rohan Gurbani. This will be an exciting matchup. Both these players are experienced at the national level and we'll see some fireworks for sure as this is the final of the team championship and every match is important uh, but Karnataka having won the first match uh, in the men's championship Rohan Gurbani of Maharashtra will have a great responsibility on his shoulders to try his best to get this match up on an even keel he has to deliver as far as Maharashtra is concerned while Karnataka will be hoping that their advantage is uh, consolidated and Prithvi Roy K uh, can get one over Rohan Gurbani here. Yes, folks, so we are joining you live from the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium as we see the game being played between Maharashtra and Karnataka on court number one. We've got Prithvi Roy taking on Ro Ro Rohan Gurbani from Maharashtra and Prithvi Roy from Karnataka leads already in this game by two points. And Prithvi Roy taking an early six-point lead in this game, uh, wrapping up the points very fast in quick succession, not giving his opponent any chance. And trying an audacious uh, turnaround backhanded shot, which does not come off. A little bit of overconfidence there. Uh, taking a six-point lead by Prithvi Roy against his opponent Rohan Gurbani from Maharashtra who has uh, registered his first points of the game courtesy an unforced error.
and uh, Rohan uh, Gurbani uh, trying to fight his way back into this game, winning his second point of the match against his opponent Prithvi Roy. And just like that, the lead is uh, back up to five points. Prithvi Roy in command of the opening exchanges in this game. Prithvi Roy playing for Karnataka in All Blacks, taking on Rohan Gurbani from Maharashtra in blue and black. 8-2 the score for Prithvi Roy to serve now. A very warm welcome to all our viewers who are just uh, tuning in to this uh, program on the Doodarshan Network. We're coming to you live from the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium. The team uh, championships, uh, the finals of the team championships, best of five matches being played out here today on day three of the National Games, the 37th National Games. Ruthvi Roy. He has made a very, very confident start here against Rohan Gurbani. Prithvi Roy is ranked uh, 42 in Indian badminton circuit. Rohan Gurbani gets a point here. It's been a rarity so far in this early part of the first game. 3-10 is the score. Rohan Gurbani is slowly getting a go here. And he's ranked... Uh, Higher than uh, Prithvi Roy K, ranked 17 Maharashtra's Rohan Gurbani is trailing here by six points to uh, Prithvi Roy K. A crucial, crucial match here in the context of the team championship as uh, Maharashtra trail Karnataka by uh, one match. This is the second match. The first match was uh, won by Karnataka's Bhargav S against Harshil Dani. Two consecutive points for Maharashtra's Rohan now. Make it three. Rohan Gurbani is definitely getting a move on here now. The score is 6-10 in this first game against Prithvi Roy of Maharashtra of Karnataka. A very good exhibition of dribbling skills by both players uh, and uh, Prithvi Roy K in his uh, uh, attempt to place it beyond Rohan. Misses the tram lines and loses the point. It's 11-7 though in favor of Prithvi Roy K and uh, the players take a mid-game break. 11-7 in favor of Karnataka. A good start by Karnataka, Elroy. Uh, rubbing on from the confidence of after their first match victory, Prithvi Roy has looked really good so far. Absolutely right, uh, Niraj. They have had a good start to the tournament, both the men and uh, uh, for the men's uh, team, of course, uh, Maharashtra will be uh, looking to fight back. The men and women from the Maharashtra team, having lost their games, will be looking to hopefully try and get some points on the board right now. We've had the Maharashtra team who've had a dominant performance in the men and women's category uh, throughout this tournament. But now, coming up against the best, they are faltering just a little bit. Wonderful exhibition of uh, attacking badminton here on display. Both players are going for it. Rohan Gurbani gets a deserved point here. It's 8-11 in this first game. Maharashtra trail Karnataka by three. This is a very good return by Rohan. Prithvi Roy K rather and gets a point uh, as Rohan errs in his return. Once again there's error by Rohan Gurbani. The unforced errors in the end matter a lot and Rohan will be looking to make fewer of the errors 
On the other hand, Prithvi Roy K is not going to let any opportunity go in his powerful forehand smashing. And speaking about powerful smashing, that was a powerful smash from Prithvi Roy from Karnataka. Did not allow Rohan any chance to return the, the smash. Oh, and he tries it once again. This time, unfortunately, it uh, doesn't come off as he would have hoped. And uh, the score now reads 14-10 uh, uh, with uh, Rohan winning that point. Will be serving. The scores read 10-14. And this is coming to you live from the Doodarshan Network uh, at the Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium in, in Goa. The service is so crucial and the exact height and the distance that you put on the serve determines the point more often than not. This time it's a very good smash by Rowan getting the point for Maharashtra. Just a two point deficit now. Rohan Gurbani definitely pulling things back f uh, after you know the starting the game off very slow. See Considering a six-point lead, Neeraj has really fought well to come back into this game. There's still a two-point lead which he needs to claw his way back. But I think with the momentum, he probably will do that. Getting a little impatient, uh, Rohan, and missing the serve. The mark that he needs to cross in his serve. And it's a body attack, Prithvi Roy. K resorting to and that's the simplest way any player would Three Roy K looks absolutely on the top of his game. You get an impression looking at his body language that he knows exactly where he wants his shots to go. He's picking the spots as well. 17-12. The score is in favor of Karnataka. 17-13. Rohan gets to serve now. It's 13-17. Rohan doesn't even move now. That tells you a story probably he has. He has uh, focused or rather kept to reserved his energy for the next game. The game of badminton hinges on a very, very Thin margin of errors in this game and the players have to focus hard and play on the merit. Karnataka's uh, Prithvi Royke is uh, getting good support as well here from the crowd that has come in at uh, Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium. He's very, very disappointed there, Prithvi Roy K, with that error in his service. And uh, Rohan to serve at 15-9, a deficit of four. The backhand uh, doesn't work here for Prithvi Roy K. And another point goes uh, Maharashtra's account. Three points is... The deficit now, Maharashtra is hanging in there. They are staying in touch as three points is not much. But then Prithvi Roy K just requires two points to win the game. 19-16 is the score in this first game of the second match of the team championship final between Karnataka and Maharashtra. A 
couple of mistakes there from Prutvi Roy enabling Rohan Gurbani to claw his way back into this game 18-19 with Rohan to serve right now just a single point away from winning the first set in this second match for the men's team championship Prithvi Roy to serve for the match Trying to be a little cheeky there, but it did not come off for Prithvi Roy. And it's just a single point which he leads right now. And that is in. So we will have a bit of a tiebreaker now between the two players. Great fight back by Rohan Gurbani after going down by six points early on in this game. Prithvi Roy with the advantage in this tiebreaker in the first set. And just like that, he surrenders his slender advantage with now Rohan serving to take the lead in this game. That is wide advantage to Rohan as he serves for the first set. And with that, Rohan Gurbani coming back into the game, winning that first set 23-21. What a Beautiful fight back from uh, Rohan, who was uh, trailing in the first part of the game. He was down by six points, but staged a remarkable comeback in the game to win the set. And of course, Maharashtra will be hoping that he keeps the momentum going in the second set as well, as they would look to get on to the score sheet. They trail Karnataka by a solitary point because of the first game, which had... Bargaves winning that match against his opponent Harshil Dani and of course Maharashtra looking to stage a comeback and a fight back in this game as uh, the players exchange sides and we're coming to you live of course from the Doodarshan network out here at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium out here in Goa which uh, sees the state host the 37th national games of course to all our viewers uh, enjoying the live uh, feed uh, you can also join us uh, for the action happening out here at the Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium the uh, badminton championship will continue tomorrow as well so you can uh, make your way down to the stadium it's absolutely free of course to enter out here and enjoy the sporting spectacle that is happening out here in Goa of course some of the best players from India descending onto the state to partake in this uh, skill competition of uh, badminton at the 37th national games of course the official ceremony will uh, commence on the 26th of october and the tournament will wind up by the 9th of november and we start off proceedings in the second set with prithvi roy winning the first point of the second set this is very similar to the previous game as well but rohan came back fought well and went on to win the game Very attacking there, Rohan. His confidence is sky high after a brilliant finish to the first game. The way he fought back at one point, it looked as if he had given up and was focusing on the next game. But then the rally in the end part of the first game was brilliant. He will have to maintain the same streak here. But Rohan, but Roy Prithvi K has now struck a good rhythm and leads 4-1.
two four Rohan to serve Very good smash this time by K. Prithvi Roy. Takes him to five. The score is 5-2 in the second game. Prithvi Roy trains in Bangalore. He's leading, but Rohan Gurbani sprung a real surprise in the first game by coming from behind and winning the game 23-21. Exceptional. And here as well, it's Prithvi Roy in lead, but cannot discount Rohan, who is very combative. Well, well, Prithvi Roy K is missing a sitter. There, there was so much elevation on that shuttle as well as space to bury it, in, but Roy hits the net. Seven four in favor of the man from Karnataka, Roy Prithvi. Rohan Kurbani is getting more confident now. You can see it in his body language, in his eyes. The focus is very much intense now. Beautifully done, Rohan Gurbani is really coming on top of this game now. He has really given Prithvi Roy something to think about, although he's trailing by a point to him. That's the level. Scores are level. Rohan Gurbani of Maharashtra is really in form now. Missing there, hitting the tape of the net. In the net play, it's so crucial to pick your spot and place it there as you rush towards the net. And uh, Rohan missed the opportunity and Prithvi Roy K is leading by two points now. It's 10-8 in Karnataka's favor in the second game. And the officials say that is out, which means it is uh, a time for the mid-match break. Prithvi Roy leading in uh, the second set by 11-8. And he'll be hoping to mount a uh, fight back in this set to level the scores at one set each. As uh, Rohan Gulbani currently leads the first game victorious, winning 21-23. Uh, and uh, even though he trails in the second set, he looks like he is uh, not really disturbed by what's going on around him. He's focused on his game and uh, Prithvi Roy also getting a, a bit of encouragement from his coaches to keep working on what he's doing and to close out this set. And uh, the action resumes live once again on center court.
A beautiful smash there by Roy Prithvi. Takes the lead to a margin of five points now. Rohan Gurbani was very quick to realize the potential of stabbing that return in as Roy Prithvi had swiveled with his back to the net and uh, returning Rohan front on could easily place it into the backcourt of Roy. 9.13 Maharashtra to serve. This matchup has been intense in parts and uh, some plays which are looking a little bit more casual both these men they know their strengths and weaknesses as well each other's strengths and weaknesses and they are trying to exploit them Roy Prithvi has looked like a player who loves to attack and also has a bit of quality in defense. Rohan Gurbani is an out and out attacking player. We have seen that the way he made up for in this first game in this in the first game. Now attacking on the body of Prithvi. Thirteen fourteen. Maharashtra to serve. That was a very close point at the net, and so close it has been that the scores are also level fourteen apiece for Prithvi Roy from uh, Karnataka taking on his opponent from Maharashtra, Rohan Gurbani, as we resume action once again on court number one. Brilliant smash there by Prithvi Roy. No chance for his opponent. He leads 15-14 with his service now. And just like that, Prithvi Roy has won back-to-back -back points, ensuring that he now has a two-point lead over his opponent. Unfortunately, at the net, it does not come off this time for, Rohan, for Prithvi Roy, with Rohan winning a crucial point in this game. Yes, this time Prithvi Roy K right on the money, dispatches the high return into a wonderful smash and taking Karnataka to 17 points, 17-15 in the second game. The first game was a thrilling culmination as uh, Rohan Gurbani made up for the deficit and put it across Karnataka. The second game is Karnataka is leading most of the times. Karnataka has been leading most of the times, but let's see who will get this game. It's 18-15 at the moment in the favor of Karnataka and Roy Prithvi. Let's not rule out Rohan Gurbani just yet. This was a very similar situation in the first set as well where he came back into the game even though he, he uh, Roh, uh, even though Prithvi Roy was on set point he still saved it and then went on to win it as well so let's not rule him out just yet winning of another point re reducing that lead to just three right now very similar scenes in the first set slowly clawed his way back Rohan Gurbani from Maharashtra let's see if he can pull it off a second time in a row and if he does, then he's going to win this set. But of course, Prithvi Roy will be doing all that he can to win this set and take it into a tiebreaker. Oh. 
Once again, Rohan Gurbani winning another point. Two points is the lead for Prithvi Roy. Uh, decided to just take a bit of a breather. Moved aside, gather his thoughts and calm himself down. It's, it's all about your mindset at this crucial juncture. Two point lead for Prithvi Roy. And just like the first game, it's coming down to a single point lead. Prithvi Roy is so close to a victory, but Rohan Gurbani not letting go of anything, fighting his way for each and every point, making Prithvi Roy absolutely... Uh, it's been a tough fight for Prithvi Roy. Every time he thought he was going to be winning the set, Rohan Gurbani has an answer for him and of course is definitely going to be having some effects on him especially with him now serving. That's a sensational smash by uh, Prithvi Roy K. That will give him a lot of confidence as he's been frittering away his advantage uh, time and again. He did it in the first game and he was doing it now but this smash Gives him a game point here. Well, once again is making a mistake and concedes the serve. It's 2019, 19-20 uh, rather as Rohan serves to save another game point. Yes. Level the scores in the second game as well. Probably in an exhibition of nerves of steel. Rohan Gurbani of Maharashtra. He is now two points away from winning this match from nowhere. <laughs> Leading by one and on a match point now. Rohan Gurbani, the man who has... Uh, countered the situations time and again uh, the leads the lead has been cut short all the time and this time though the mistake allows Prithvi Roy K to come and try and do something of his own to level the match up and uh, it takes takes the advantage in this game it is uh, it's a seesaw battle between both these players Prithvi Roy trying to serve and uh, get the set in his favor with Rohan Gurbani will try to save this set point and <laughs> just like that it goes into another tiebreaker with Rohan Gurbani to serve Twenty-three, twenty-two is what Prithvi Roy leads and he will be serving. I think nerves are playing a part in uh, Prithvi Roy's game right now, especially as he heads towards a victory. He's uh, faltered or erred in his ways just at the crucial point of a victory. One single point away from winning the game whereas for Rohan Gurbani it's all about saving this and taking it to another tiebreaker and with a sigh of relief Prithvi Roy wins this set and takes the match into a tiebreaker winning it 24-22 what an exciting game of badminton we're seeing out here. As we take a two-minute interval, the players will be talking to their coaches. The boys from Maharashtra will be definitely excited as they have fought their way back into this game, winning 
24-22 in the second set. It's unbelievable. We have not seen a match uh, of such quality and such uh, uncertainty, I would say. This was like a nail-biter that we have had uh, in this team championship so far. Absolutely, Neeraj. It's been a seesaw battle, just like how it was in the first set. It happened in the second set. And I said as when uh, Prithvi Roy was leading 19-15 that there is all the chance that Rohan Gurbani can stage a fight back. And he did do that. He took the game to Prithvi Roy, uh, coming back from a four-point deficit, clawing his way back point by point, taking the game into Two tiebreakers, unfortunately, wasn't able to do what he did in the first set and uh, win it. But he can uh, try in the third and final tiebreak set. And of course, Karnataka leading the total men's team score by a single point. If they win this game, they'll take a commanding lead of two points and then of course uh, there will be tremendous pressure on the double spare who will be playing in the next match. Absolutely, it's so important for Maharashtra to stay on course here. Karnataka to serve in the third game. Prithvi Roy K, can he stabilize and enforce his authority or will Rohan Gurbani make the most of his Killer instinct to go for it in when in this third game. We have seen quality with both men able to crank up the pressure when needed and can play quality strokes as well. Excellent play there at the net from Prithvi Roy. Letting his opponent move well within the court limits and then dispatching the shuttle to the far ends away from the reach of Rohan Gurbani. Getting to see some very high quality badminton out here at the finals of the national games being held in Goa. It's incredible gameplay from both players on center court two all is what the score reads Prithvi Roy in all black for Karnataka taking on Rohan Gurbani in blue and black for Maharashtra a jump shot smash there from uh, Rohan Gurbani ensures that he takes the lead in uh, this game and another unforced error there from Prithvi Roy this is one of the first times in this match, in fact, that Rohan Gurbani has a lead in the game. He has constantly been trailing his opponent, even in the first two se sets, constantly trailing, but fighting back right at the very end to settle the scores and then win it in the tiebreaker. Yes, Rohan Gurbani has been very, very good in terms of his uh, finishing skills. He knows exactly where the spaces are there and in his attacking approach, he can get the point. He's leading by three points here now in this third game. Make it four and this is probably the first time he has had this lead over his Karnataka counterpart of lead of four points. He has most of the times been trailing and then somehow he has been rallying to come up in the points. But for the first time he has been leading by five points now. 7-2 is the score in this third and final game in favor of Maharashtra. And that was uh, effortlessly dispatched by Prithvi Roy. We're going to see how he fares under pressure. One of the first times in the games when he's trailing his opponent. We're going to see what he's made of, whether his mentality and mindset lets him fight back or whether Rohan Gurbani is going to be taking this game. But as you can see from that 
A rapid exchange of volleys out there. The score now reads 4-7 with Prithvi Roy to serve. And Prithvi Roy slowly making his way back into the game, winning that point. He now trails 6-7. But his aim a little bit off in that point. Conceding the lead once again to Rohan Gurbani from Maharashtra, who now leads by 8-6 with serve. Rohan Gurbani, the 17th ranked uh, player in Indian badminton, whereas uh, his opponent here, Prithvi Royke, is 42nd. So they see there's a lot of uh, gulf between both these uh, players. His rankings are concerned, but uh, when you see uh, the quality of badminton both have played, they are more or less at the same level. There have been a lot of mistakes, but then what matters is the points. Both players have one game each in their favour and this is the third and final game where Rohan Gurbani of Maharashtra is leading by two points right now. And just like that, he's made up the deficit. This game is a complete seesaw. And uh, as you can see from that, Cross court smash there, with the backhand. He levels the scores. Nine all between Prithvi Roy from Karnataka and Rohan Gurbani from Maharashtra. Brilliantly done by Prithvi Roy at the net. 10 9 is, as you can hear, the Empire go with the score. Eleven nine in favor of K. Prithvi Roy is his third game in progress. Karnataka leading by two points against Maharashtra in the second match. The first match has gone in favor of Karnataka, so this is absolutely important phase for Maharashtra if they can come back and win this match it will be one all in this five match team championship final we have witnessed a mixed bag really if we analyze the match uh, there have been some intensely contested rallies and some quality shots from both these young players, Roy Prithvi of Karnataka and Rohan Gurbani of uh, Maharashtra. Rohan, uh, Roy will now serve Officials deem that to be out. Rohan Gurbani trailing once again in this match against Prithvi Roy. Both players neck and neck in uh, this very evenly matched game out here between Maharashtra and Karnataka.
excellent brilliant maneuvering of the shuttle by Prithvi Roy to all parts of the court making his opponent lunge for it and in in doing so ensuring that he had the advantage when he did hit the smash Prithvi Roy from Karnataka ranked much more lower than Rohan Gurbani in the overall rankings but as you can see from the game they are matched in just about all their aspects of gameplay 13-11 with Rohan Gurbani to serve Twelve thirteen with uh, Rohan winning that point, excellent placement, and he now serves. Showing his acknowledgement there, that was Rohan. A little bit of luck going his way, holding up his hand to his opponent, acknowledging that he got a little lucky. But of course, both players. Are tied at 13 all and I, it is going to take a little bit of luck and of course a whole lot of hard work on both players to emerge victorious in this game absolutely no control here of Prithvi Roy on that uh, Attacking overhead shot and Rohan Gurbani getting the point. He has employed smash to good effect as Rohan of Maharashtra. This time he was not in a position in his lunge. Uh, able to retrieve that low return by Prithvi K and the game is progressing on a very neck and neck uh, basis it's 14 all in this third and final game what is happening is Ro Prithvi Roy getting tired that was always being going to fall inside the play area and he thought it was otherwise loses the point placed wide this time two point uh, lead now for uh, Rohan and Maharashtra against uh, Roy Prithvi of Karnataka Sixteen fourteen. you're watching the live telecast of the team championship final in the badminton event at the 37th national games in Goa Rohan Gurbani is now really charging one can say it's a three-point lead here and uh, it seems like he is the fitter of the two probably and going high steam now Prithvi Roy looks rattled he has made errors in high frequency of late 1814. Once again is unable to delicately place the net across the uh, place the shuttle across the net and loses 1914. And there was no response from uh Prithvi Roy there to that uh, jump smash from Rohan Gurbani who is just a single point away from winning this game match point and it looked like Prithvi Roy had given up before that had even begun with uh, Rohan Gurbani from Maharashtra winning that game 21 14 
crucial, crucial game for the Maharashtra men's team there. 21-14 uh, is what he went on to win that game and defeating his opponent. Excellent game out here at the centre court at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium as we will be having Neeraj in conversation with the winner of uh, that match, Rohan Gurbani, ensuring that Maharashtra, the men's team from Maharashtra, level the scores against Karnataka, who had the early lead thanks to Bhargav. Of course, we will be having Neeraj in conversation with the victorious Rohan Gurbani from Maharashtra, who played really, really well, saved saved two match points in the first and second set and was victorious in the third game. Gurbani of Maharashtra and what a sensational performance by Rohan to get Maharashtra on track and the uh, final has been leveled at 1-1. Rohan, a fascinating contest. Uh, you trailed for most of the time in the first game but what an amazing fight back. Uh, your comment? Yeah, it was a pretty close match in the first two games as uh, his drives and uh, flats are pretty good and I wasn't able to really understand the game that much uh, in the first two games but as soon as I got a hold of the court and the drift, I was able to convert the match and I'm happy the way it turned out in the third set as I increased the speed in the second part of the third set and yeah, I'm happy the way it turned out. Did you also have an idea of how uh, Roy Prutwi is going to play? Did you have an inkling of his weaknesses as well? Yeah, I had a bit of an idea that his flats and drives are really good uh, and I was able to, you know, dominate in that area as well, but also play to his weaknesses, which is like opening up the court a bit, like playing uh, in the deep corners more. And yeah, that worked out pretty well for me. And also that Maharashtra had lost the first match, uh, that was an added uh, challenge to you, that you had to get the team back in, uh, 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 level the tie up as well. So how did it go for you? Yeah, that's always there, but as soon as you step in the court, I, I mean, the thought is the same that you have to give your best and win the match. Uh, even if the first match we have lost, doesn't matter. You have to come out there and win still. Well played, Rohan, and good luck to you and your team. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So there you go, a fascinating match we have just witnessed uh, in the men's singles uh, final of the team championship. Maharashtra and Karnataka are now leveled at one all and we will now go back to the women's uh, final and the women's doubles match is coming up live on Doordarshan. Back to Elroy in the commentator's box. Thank you so much, uh, Neeraj, for that uh, lovely conversation with the winner of the Maharashtra men's team, Rohan Gurbani. Uh, who complimented his opponent on a game well played and on centre court of course we are getting ready for the women's team championship game the doubles match between Simran Singhi and Ritika Thakir taking on Ishrani Barua and Ashmita Chalia of course both Ashmita and Ishrani were victorious in their singles games and it, it all comes down now to Simran Singhi and Ritika Thakir from Maharashtra to try and rescue a point for their team because if they lose this game then it is all over for Maharashtra and they will have to settle for silver at the national games which means Assam would be taking the gold medal if they can win this game. Both Chalia and of course uh, Barua, excellent players in the singles competition. But let's see how they work together as a pair, teaming up against the formidable duo of uh, Maharashtra at the 37th National Games out here. A very warm welcome to all of you who've just joined us to this live broadcast courtesy the Doodarshan Network.
Of course, the games are coming to you on our YouTube channel as well. You can check it out and uh, you can share the link with your friends and family. They can all catch the live action happening at the national games being held in Goa. And of course, we are at the Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium where the badminton finals are on between the men and women's teams. Exciting games of uh, badminton we've been witness to so far, both with the men and women competing, highly competitive games of badminton. And we now have Team Maharashtra taking on Team Assam in the finals. As I said before, Assam need to win this and take an unassailable 3 nil lead, thereby ensuring that they win the gold at the 37th National Games. Simran and uh, Ritika getting ready to take on Ashmita and Isharani. And both sets of players are done with their warm-ups and are all set to go as our match official introduces both sets of teams and players. We're going to have Maharashtra serving with Ritika to serve. Assam taking an early lead in this game. Baroa and Chalia taking on the international duo of uh, Simran Singhi and Ritika Thakher from Maharashtra. And the team from Assam of Barua and Chalia taking an early 3-0 lead against their opponents from Maharashtra. Everything seems to be going the way of Assam for the women's team. Once again winning another point that was Ashmita there with a fantastic cross-court smash. What is happening out here in this final game? 5-0, an early lead. Lots of encouragement from the fans out here for the girls in Assam who are here to play and win gold for their state. First points on the board for the international duo of Simran and Ritika from Maharashtra. They now serve at 1-5. Absolutely sensational story so far. The Ashmi's pair is dominating the international du duo from Maharashtra. Wow. 
Wonderful deception and technique showed by Assam's Ashmita Chalya, the India international singles player here combining with Isharani Baru of Assam and they lead 7-1 in this team championship final. Assam having won the first two matches uh, have 2-0 advantage in this third tie of the five match rubber and they lead 7-2. Slowly but steadily, the Maharashtra pair of uh, Ritika and Simran are fighting back and you can expect them to do it very well as well. They are a long time duo uh, playing badminton doubles and they have a fantastic understanding between each other. So it has to be a better performance from them than we have seen so far in this first game. They are down 3-8 in the first game. And a little bit of a wavered shot there from Ashmita. A very engaging rally here and uh, Assam's uh, Ashmita Chalya and Isharani Barua have uh, really stamped their authority so far. It's 9-5, Assam in the lead here in the first game. Another successful point for Assam there. The duo of Isharani and Ashmita taking a five-point lead in uh, this uh, game. Four points now is the lead for Sam as they need to hold their calm to win the match and of course take gold in the 37 national games being held out here in Goa. We have So Assam lead 11-6 and we have a great pleasure to have with us uh, Shri DPS Negi, Member Finance uh, at Prasar Bharati India. It gives us great joy here. So as we bring to you the live telecast of the badminton event here in Goa at the 37th National Games. Elroy, what a fantastic match we have seen so far here between Maharashtra and Assam. The first game is in progress here. Absolutely Neeraj, it's been a fantastic game. We've seen high quality of badminton uh, taking place between both sets of players and you can see the coaches now talking to them, talking to them to ensure that they continue to do what they have to do. Assam leading by five points against the international pair of uh, Simran and Ritika from Maharashtra in uh, blue and black taking on the pair of Ishrani Barua and Ashmita Chalia from Assam in all black. We're seeing high quality badminton out here. One more victory for Team Assam to win the gold at the 37th National Games. And the first gold medal of the Games will go to Assam if they win this.
wayward shot there from Ritika, very uncharacteristic of uh, the international duo. Twelve eight with Ashmita and Ishani to serve. Pump off the fist from Simran there as she won that point. Three points is the deficit they trail, but they are now serving. And just like that, the international duo of uh, Simran and Ritika from Maharashtra reducing that point gap to just two right now. Oh, they got lucky at the net out there. Definitely got lucky at the net, the girls from Assam. But they will take all the luck that comes their way. They lead by three in this exciting doubles pair matchup between Assam and Maharashtra. Officials deem that is in. That will give them a bit of confidence in this game. Lots of cheer and support for the girls from Assam out here. They have a contingent making sure that their players know exactly what they are doing. That's a little too wide. 12-14 the score with Simran and Ritika to serve. Excellent, excellent shot from the team from Assam. They lead by three. Yes, absolutely. Assam has uh, been the better team in this doubles outing for so far. This time though, uh, Ritika and Simran knew exactly where the space were and exploited it to the maximum, winning the point. It's 13-15 uh, is the score. Still, Maharashtra trailing Assam by two points in this first game of uh, the third match in the team championship final. It's now going to be Simran to serve. Fourteen, fifteen. Maharashtra have uh, surely come up uh, in the points. They were trailing most of the times by three or four point margin, but now the lead has been cut to just a single point. Brilliantly done here by uh, Ritika Tucker. She had a uh, good view of the space she had and the deceptive placement caught uh, the Assam duo on the wrong foot as well. 14 all, 15 all. This game has been a seesaw battle between both the players from either team, not letting go of any points, fighting it out. And that was a misplaced shot, trying to get it over the net. Simran was unfortunate in her placement out there. 
and uh, splitting both the players through the middle making sure that she made up for her earlier mistakes Simran with a fantastic smash right down the middle of the court The Maharashtra duo are stunned. They have been playing together since a very, very long time. And yet, uh, this time, their positioning uh, was not perfect. And Assam gets a point. Yes, they've been playing for 10 years, is what they told me yesterday. So they know their gameplay very, very well. But of course, they are facing stiff competition from the pair of uh, from Assam. Absolutely, and it's the pressure as well of the final. The situation is not the same. Playing in a league match is completely different uh, to the atmosphere of playing in the final. The pressure of the the territory they are in is also getting to them. But yet, uh, they are very much in the contest. It's just one point that separates uh, uh, Assam uh, from Maharashtra. 17-18. Simran to serve. Wow, excellent rally there. The duo of Ashmita and Ishrani working so well together. Two points away from winning the first set. So much of venom in that shot from Ritika as she smashed that one down the middle, giving no chance for Ishrani to return that. One point away from winning the set. This is going to be an upset of sorts if the duo from Assam can beat their highly ranked international opponents. Oh, we're witnessing some excellent badminton out here. Fine margins, both players getting in between their own way. 2019, the score with the duo from Maharashtra to serve now. He'll be looking to save Matt set point. And with that, we have a victory in the first set out here. The girls from Assam winning that. Ishrani and Ashmita victorious 21-19 in the first set. Congratulations to them. They still have one more set to win the game. 21-19 is the first set for the girls from Assam. Oh, 
I have here with us, uh, it's a great pleasure for us to host uh, TPS uh, Negiji, uh, Member Finance of Prasar Bharti Board. Uh, Negiji is here with us at the commentary box here at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium where the badminton team championship is in progress. Uh, sir, uh, we welcome you in Goa. How do you find the atmosphere here for the national games? Sir, uh, the Prasar Bharti has laid out a well-planned uh, uh, mechanism to cover the 37 national games in entirety on TV as well as on radio as well. Yeah, as you said, the Prasar Bharti is the public broadcaster of the country. Uh, there are two verticals, uh, Doodarshan and Akash uh, Awani. And uh, we have made all the uh, arrangements, we have made up with all the sporting events. Uh, we have made more than 43 sports are here. 27 or 28 uh, uh, sports events uh, live from uh, our coverage and this coverage will go uh, across the nation not only nation in the youtube it's going uh, acro across the globe and i'm very sure the prasar bharti and in, in prasar bharti we are using the latest technology of the usgn 4k which you have seen recently in the g20 the coverage done by the prasar bharti is one of the best uh, one can say in the world Absolutely, the importance of the sports being covered at its uh, maximum is also so much highlighted here at the National Games and we are overjoyed to have you, sir, with us here in Goa. Uh, thank you very much that uh, Goa is uh, holding this event. I would like to uh, thank to the state government also and all athletes, uh, those who are participating in this, more than 10,000 athletes are participating in this uh, mega event of 37 National Games and I wish all the best to all the uh, all the athletes uh, it's the sports is a we are becoming the uh, mega power in the sports events recently we have seen the asian games also we have won more than 100 medals over there and i wish all the best to my prasar bharti team my officers and staff those who come from different parts of country to cover this mega event all the best to national games thank you so you heard uh, from Shri DPS Negiji, Member Finance of Prasar Bharti Board, uh, as uh, how elaborate arrangements have been done by the host broadcasters to bring you every minute from this 37th National Games here in Goa. And the focus right now is back on the team championship finals in the women's category here, Assam versus Maharashtra. And uh, Assam have backed the first game 21-19 and the second game is in progress and they hold a four-point lead over their Maharashtrian counterparts. Six one, uh, uh, the lead right now. The girls from Assam, completely dominant, uh, just a few points away from victory and gold at the national games. They have coming with just one goal in mind. Ashmita and Ishrani very determined in this second set. Seven one, the lead right now, and serving is Ishrani. And the team from Maharashtra looking completely rattled. 8-1, a 7-point lead. What is going on out here? It is absolutely incredible, the scenes that we're seeing. This is not expected from the international pair of uh, Ritika and Simran. Nothing seems to be going their way. 8 points is the lead right now. I think they just need to gather their wits calm themselves down and regain some sort of momentum in this game. 
eight points lead. Oh, that was uh, an absolutely incredulous looking Sean from Assam. The, that's the level of confidence they have. Trying all sorts of things to win points. Assam have been such a force in this uh, final of the team championship, having won the first two singles matches and now in the doubles they are also on top of the game now. Can the Maharashtra girls find uh, some inspiration and their reserves as well of the energy to get this game across and level the tie. Two consecutive points for Maharashtra now. That should do them a little good and give them some hope that they can overturn the deficit. And uh, with that, the duo of Simran and Ritika slowly clawing their way back into this game. 7-10. It was incredible the lead that uh, the girls of Assam built up at the start of this match. But now the girls of Maharashtra slowly making their way back into this game. Eleven seven as we take the first break of this second set. Assam leading by eleven to seven. The duo of Ashmita and Ishrani building up a sizable lead at the start of this set against the formidable duo of Simran and uh, Ritika from Maharashtra. While the duo of uh, Simran and Ritika have been playing for a long time and they are internationally recognized, you got to keep in mind that Ashmita and Ishrani both as individuals are highly ranked players. In fact, Ashmita as, uh, is one of the top ranked uh, single players out there. So they do have a lot of skills. It's just about uh, playing together and uh, being together as a team. Huge roar on the crowd there for the Assam duo who now have a four point lead. They had a, a, a seven point lead at the start of this game, but Maharashtra clawed their way back slowly and steadily. But once again, the girls from Assam asserting their dominance in this game. An error in judgment there from. Ashmita thinking that was going to be out of bounds but it was landing just within the court limits. Ashmita there very dominant from the back of the court and uh, Isharani finishing off what her partner started in style.
Maharashtra are making the errors they would have, that they would have uh, loved to avoid, but this pressure seems to have got to the the seasoned duo of Singhi and uh, Tucker. The Assamese uh, partnership of Parua and Chalia is functioning better than expected. 10-14, Maharashtra four points uh, in deficit. Fifteen ten, Ashmita Shalya serving for Assam. Well, well, that's the type of authority that the Maharashtra girls would love to enforce uh, for consistently if they have to overturn this areas into ascendancy for Maharashtra. They're totally inconsistent in this uh, match. A very important match as well because uh, losing this match would mean that the gold medal will slip away from their hand for sure. Seventeen, eleven, and uh, you can see Assam are galloping towards that gold medal, having won the first two singles matches as well. These two players, uh, Ashmita and Isharani, both singles players, they have won their respective matches and have then teamed up to play the doubles outing. Whereas uh, Simran and Ritika are fresh, they were all sitting in the stands and cheering their uh, teammates of Maharashtra and have come down to play the uh, doubles match now. But the situation is uh, completely in favor of Assam. Incredible. Their fitness and their skills are too good for now as Assam lead 18-12 in the second game. Absolutely incredible that the singles players are combining to get uh, the better of the doubles duo from Maharashtra. This is the beauty of the sport, the confidence uh, that can uh, drive a player to break the barriers and uh, win glory for their state. We see this in, uh, in progress here as Assam march towards the match point. They won the first game 21-19 and they are now one point away from the gold medal. There you go, Ashmita Chalia jump smashes in her way to glory as the team Assam girls come running onto the court to congratulate the double sparing of uh, Ashmita Chalia and Isharani Barua who have scripted a fantastic victory over Maharashtra's uh, double specialist uh, Simran Singhi and Ritika Thakur 21-19, 21-13 see the incredible victory dance here of Assam they have won the gold medal in the women's team championship by winning the first three matches in the best of five format and it's total domination by the Assamese and the rise of badminton in Assam is there for everybody to see as the National Games is a spectacular stage, a prestigious uh, outing for every state. And the youngsters especially uh, always uh, dream of playing in the National Games, the Olympic-style multi-sport <laughs> extravaganza of India. And Goa are so proud to host the 37 National Games. And the badminton team championship in the women's category has been decided. Assam has shocked Maharashtra 3-0. Elroy Fernandez will be in the conversation with the winners here of the doubles match. Uh, uh, the uh, fantastic Ashmita Chalia and Sharani Barua. Over to Elroy in the mix zone.
Well, folks, a very warm welcome to all of you joining us out here at the 37th National Games. We have our first gold medal being won by Team Assam from uh, the girls out here, Isha Rani and, of course, Ashmita. Congratulations on winning the doubles and, of course, with that, ensuring that Assam wins their first gold medal. It was a tough match. Talk us through the game. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, they are uh, professional doubles players, so it was pretty tough. Uh, and But we didn't take any pressure because, like, obviously we are singles players. So uh, we just made a strategy that uh, we'll just, like, uh, you know, receive everything. We'll just make them move. And whatever happens, happens. Yes, talking about experience, uh, they are a very experienced pair, having represented India as well at international tournaments. Uh, how did you go about preparing for this game, uh, for this special event? Uh, it I, I, just like she said, that they are professional players and we only play singles, so we did not have pressure. But uh, she also supported me throughout the game and our coaches also. Uh, that's yeah, we just uh, made a plan that we'll give our best, whatever happens. Uh, you had an injury in your previous game. Uh, did that hamper you in this game at all? Uh, no, no, no. It was uh, okay. Well, congratulations to both of you and congratulations to Team Assam for winning the gold. I'm pretty sure you're excited. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, it was uh, like it's uh, first goal for a Sam team so like yeah, it's pretty uh, like big thing for us so would you like to give a message to all the people watching from Assam? Mm, yeah like thank you for supporting us and our teammates who supported throughout the game a match yeah that's it and yeah thank you for supporting us uh, from home like thank you Congratulations, you guys deserve some rest. Well-deserved victory. Congratulations once again. And of course, we go back to the commentary box with Neeraj. All up to you. Brilliant uh, that performance by Team Assam having won the first three matches back-to-back. -back, uh, Maharashtra were banking so much on the international uh, doubles duo of uh, Ritika Thakur and Simran Singhi. But uh, the pairing of uh, Ashmita Chalia and uh, Isharani Barua left them uh, stumped, uh, so to say, because uh, the makeshift uh, pairing uh, beating the seasoned uh, doubles pairing is such a rarity given that uh, the specialization of the, of the event uh, is something, uh, is, is a formidable uh, quality of the sleeve but on the day Simran and Ritika just could not uh, bring their A game to the table and uh, all credit to Isharani and uh, Ashmita Chalia as they did not take any pressure of uh, the matchup and just tried to do their best in their personal capacities and that their best was uh, enough to win Assam. You can see the visuals uh, on your screen, the, the victory lap here of the teammates of the Assamese girls. And you can uh, say uh, great uh, salutations. You can give your salutations to the hard work, the effort of the players of the Assamese uh, camp and the coaches and the parents as well who, has, uh, who have supported uh, the players in every way uh, so that uh, they have come to the stage of winning glory for their state at the 37 national games so the first gold medal has been decided here at the 37 national games and it goes to team Assam in the women's uh, team championship we now go back to the men's team championship action uh, with Maharashtra duo of Nitin HV of uh, Karnataka and his uh, teammate Sai Pratik K will take on Deep Rambia and Akshan Shetty of Maharashtra. Well, the women have lost the chance to win gold medal. Can the men do something? Of course, Rohan Gurbani won that uh, previous singles against uh, Prithvi Roy K and helped Maharashtra level the tie one all in the men's team championship. And it will be an opportunity for both these teams to take lead uh, in, the, in, the, in the team championship. 
by winning this doubles encounter. And of course, we have the men's team championship right now being played between Nitin and Cypratik from Karnataka, who are in all black. And of course, we have the boys from Maharashtra, Deep uh, Rambia and Akshan Shetty in uh, blue. Of course, the officials are asking players from both teams to warm up and get ready as uh, this is uh, going to be an interesting tie as the match the overall scores are equal between Maharashtra and Karnataka. This is going to go into the five setter with both sets of teams trying to win gold for their states. just had the winners of the first gold medal at the 37th national games out here team Assam winning in uh, badminton for the women's uh, team championship out here at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium very very exciting times was a intense battle between Ashmita Chalia and Isharani Barua from Assam as they emerged victorious uh, defeating the experienced duo of Simran Singhi and Ritika Thakir from Maharashtra. 19-21, 13-21, they were victorious and they've taken a 3-0 unassailable lead which means they have won the gold medal out here at the National Games being held in Goa. We're coming to you live on the Doodarshan Network of course and all the games are being broadcast out here to you absolutely live lots of, of coverage for the national games taking place at Goa at different locations and different venues so stick around join us on our live coverage uh, as well as our coverage of the games on our YouTube digital platform so you can check it out and catch each and every game that's happening out here at the badminton team championships and of course the national games being held in Goa Of course, it's time now for the game to begin our empire for this game. Introducing both sets of players and uh, we are all set to go with Karnataka to serve. And uh, the first set of points being shared between both teams won all in this doubles match. one in favor of Deep and Akshan from Maharashtra. 
against the pair of Nitin and Saiprateek from Karnataka. Just like that, the scores are level two apiece to Maharashtra and Karnataka. all in this doubles encounter between Maharashtra and Karnataka as both teams are level on points even on the overall standings both teams level on points it's going to be a close encounter which Karnataka narrowly lead by four points to three and they are serving And that is a little wide as Karnataka take a three-point lead in this game. 7-3 against Maharashtra in this double sparing. Very intense battle here between the Maharashtra and Karnataka men. You can sense that they're very, very pumped up, highly pumped up. And they'll dish out a charge spectacle for sure. Early days here in this matchup and uh, Karnataka have a four-point lead over Maharashtra. high level of concentration and meticulous level of skills are the essential part of badminton at this highest stage in the national badminton scenario although this is a multi-sport extravaganza in the form of national games uh, but the all eyes will be on badminton here as the first event in the 37th edition of national games and we are watching the team championship final <laughs> 11 6 and the mid game break for all the players karnataka and maharashtra are locked on one match apiece in this best of five affair to decide the gold medal in the men's team championship the women's team championship has already been decided uh, just a few minutes before this particular doubles outing commenced and uh, Assam shocked Maharashtra in the doubles outing 
after having earlier won both their women's singles matches, took an unassailable 3 0 lead and bagged the gold medal. So, as Maharashtra have another chance in the men's category now to make the gold medal theirs, but uh, Karnataka will have other ideas for sure. Fourteen ten, Karnataka with a four-point lead in this uh, crucial first game of this doubles match, the third match in the five-match final. Both the teams have won uh, one match each earlier in the men's singles. Sixteen, eleven. You can see both the teams uh, playing with a very good sportsman's uh, spirit, acknowledging uh, each other, good respect, uh, and that's what uh, the field of national games means. It's a v very good stage uh, for the national level uh, sports persons to come together and show their best at the same time they know they are driving the sport in the country as well good to see the gestures intense drives there four hands trying to outplay each other and the doubles is such a power pack game at times and very exciting to watch at the stadium as well as on TV.
the first game comes to an end and it's Karnataka who have uh, won the first game with a very very comfortable margin of 9 points 21-12 is the score at the end of the first game and uh, Maharashtra will have to look to find another gear in the second game if they aim to level this match up at the moment the Karnataka men are looking very very confident and their game as well is at its best the skills as well as their accuracy matter of combination how the doubles team combines is so important earlier we saw Maharashtra's professional doubles pair could not combine as they did in the past and uh, Assam's makeshift pair of Ashmita and uh, Isharani came together very well to win that match and with that the uh, women's team championship as well. Here we see Maharashtra's uh, Deep Rambia and Akshan Shetty trying to find the answer to the formidable duo of Karnataka of Pratik and Nitin. Karnataka to serve second game Lava. Good attacking play, but it's the defense uh, where the Karnataka team faltered and Maharashtra get a point to 2 1. Maharashtra to serve. High voltage smash here by uh, Pratik and uh, Karnataka are back in the lead at 4-2 in the second game. The defense uh, this time by Nitin is not as uh, solid as it was in the first uh, game and Karnat in Maharashtra get a point 3-4 is a very important ma match considering the situation in the best of five match as the winning team here will take will take a lead in the overall standing of the gold medal match the smashing of the Karnataka players has been more 
accurate than their counterparts and that's why they are in the lead and that's why they also won the first game with a very, very big margin. The short receive, uh, the short returns uh, have clearly been dispatched for smashes and that's the way how the aggressive teams uh, shape up. <laughs> Maharashtra player misses out on the opportunity to dispatch a smash and uh, the scores are level 9 all in the second game. The battle is much more intense than what we thought it would be right from first set where the Karnataka men were clearly the best on show and went on marching in a sort of a one-way traffic. But here in the second game we see the Maharashtra boys really come to the party and are keeping the Karnataka men on their toes. It's 10 all.
eleven ten Maharashtra have inched into a well deserved lead but just by one point the onus is definitely on uh, Maharashtra to try and come up with uh, a bigger challenge for the Karnataka men who won the first game Both these teams have shown great hunger for attacking intensity. And the second game has seen fireworks. A Karnataka duo of HV Nitin and uh, Sai Pratik K have progressed to a very good position. It's 18 13 in favor of Karnataka in the second game. This uh, victory here will give Karnataka a fantastic 2 1 lead against Maharashtra in this gold medal match in the men's team championship.
Fantastic placement there by Nitin and that brings Karnataka on the verge of uh, winning this match 2014 serving for the match point is Nitin. There they go the boys from Karnataka have easily won this final against uh, Maharashtra 21-12, 21-14 that makes it 2-1 for Karnataka in this five match uh, men's team championship final. That was an imperious victory there for Karnataka winning that game very comfortably in uh, straight sets 21 14 21 12 was the first set and of course uh, Neeraj is going to be in conversation with the winners of the doubles game Karnataka now taking a 2-1 advantage in to the next set of games Assam of course already winning the first gold medal of uh, national games 37 the Assam uh, national team winning gold the girls and of course Karnataka have taken one step closer to winning gold for their team. We now will be having Neeraj in conversation with the winners of uh, this match from Karnataka, Nitin and Saiprati K. A straight set victory here for Karnataka in their doubles match out against Maharashtra there. So that gives uh, your team a 2-1 advantage in the team uh, men's team championship final. Yeah, I think uh, we much needed win this game being the crucial game. I think uh, the rest uh, we will just sit and watch what can uh, hope we win. And we pretty have a pretty good team next coming up in the singles as well. So yeah, looking forward to win the medal here now. Yeah. Uh, what was the challenge there out on the court? Did you get to uh, settle yourself uh, quite easily? Yeah, well, we came up to the court from the first point with a plan. So we stuck to the plan and then in between it was getting close. So, well, we just had to regain our focus and again change a little bit, few things and then stick to the plan again. It worked out well and happy to be on the winning side and get a point to Karnataka. How was the understanding? Do you play together often? Yeah, not often, but uh, we train in the same place, so it's much easier to uh, understand. And uh, we both are from the same place, so it's easier easier to communicate as well. So, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> A word on the, on the national games facilities here in Goa. We are hosting it for the first time. I think overall, you know, right from the organize uh, organizing committee, and then the transport, the stay, the food, everything is like really amazing. I think. It's like more of like a international, uh, you know, uh, level uh, arrangement here. And uh, loving my time here in Goa, and uh, looking forward to be back again next year. Yeah. yeah, well, the organization is pretty good, and the coaches are really amazing. They feel really good to play in the such big conditions. It's quite challenging, but also a good opportunity, you know, to get exposure to play on the next level. And the arrangements made by the national games team is really amazing. Really happy to be here. Well done, boys, and uh, good luck going forward. Thank you. Cheers. So there you have uh, Nitin and uh, Sai Pratik uh, having given a fantastic exhibition of doubles badminton and giving their team a 2-1 lead. Over to the commentary box with Elroy. Thank you so much, uh, Neeraj. Yes, uh, we've seen uh, an excellent game out there. And of course, uh, we have our next game between Ayush Shetty and Darshan Pujari, which will be beginning at 4.45. And we will be bringing you all the live action uh, from the Do Darshan Network. Stick around, do not go anywhere. We will be back with uh, live coverage very soon.